magandang araw mga kabarangay. Nandito na naman po si Sir Pops making another video for Science 10. So, matatapos na po yung ating third quarter. Malapit na siyang matapos. Dalawang linggo na lang tapos na siya. So, kumustahin po muna natin ang ating mga grade 10 students dyan. So, kung nahihirapan kayo, manood lang kayo ng aking mga videos sa Science para uh, makarelate kayo dun sa mga topics natin sa Science 10. No? So, magandang gabi po ulit. So, ito yung aking, ano, ito yung aking channel. Ayan. So, subscribe na po nitong Sir Pops TV. Ito yung last video natin, Evidences of Evolution, week 5.1, na in-upload ko. And, kung di pa po kayo nakasubscribe sa channel na to, sabi nga niya, subscribe. Hit nyo itong subscribe button and please pakihit ng all, no? bell button para updated kayo sa lahat ng mga videos na lalabas sa channel na to. So, let's start. Oy, sa mga teachers nga pala natin sa science, no, yung mga gustong gumamit ng LAS, pwede nyo po itong i-download na lang dito. Ilalagay ko to sa baba ng video na to. Sa baba niya. Kasi dito, parang ganito. Ayan. Meron siyang, ano, meron siya ditong link para doon sa ating LAS. Para ito sa 5.1. Yung 5.2, makikita nyo rin po dyan sa baba. Okay? So, let's start. So, the title of our topic for today is The Occurrence of Idea of Evolution. So, dinugtungan ko lang ng idea of evolution. No, ang ang merit kasi niya is explain the occurrence of evolution. So, dito, trace natin kung kanino ba nagmula yung ideya ng evolution. <coughs> Let's start. Organisms inhabiting the earth have changed over time. Their structures, traits, and abilities allowed them to adapt and survive in their environment. This learning activity sheet was designed and written with you in mind. Now, let's dwell on the theories of evolution by Lamarck. And also, uh, a little bit of uh, Charles Darwin theory. Get ready to learn and accomplish variety of activities to help you understand the process and mechanism of evolution. So, most essential learning competencies explain the occurrence of evolution. Now, for the objectives, we have this one. Differentiate the three theories of Jean-Baptiste de Lamarck. Explain the theory of natural selection of Charles Darwin. Explain mo lang yung theory niya. Anong ibig sabihin ng natural selection? And number three, discuss the effect of environmental changes on adaptation and survival of species. So, dito medyo may, may konting pagbabago sa LAS natin. Oh. Lahat ng activity na una. Activity 1, we have activity 1, activity 2, activity 3, activity 4A, 4B, and so on. Tapos, susunod na yung topic. So, medyo nilagyan lang natin ng konting challenge. Okay, let's start. Observe figure 1 and figure 2 below and answer the following questions, write your answer on, in your answer sheet. So, let's start. Uh, dito, kung wala kang idea, kung wala kang idea dito sa mga i-answer mo dito, unahin mo muna yung topic sa baba, no? Para makita mo kung ano yung pagkakaiba nila. So, halimbawa, dito sa figure 1 natin, giraffes acquire their long necks through heterochrony. Heterochrony, yan. And figure 2, giraffes may not have long neck. Giraffes may not long neck to reach tall trees. May have. So, may have, may have not. May have ito eh. Mali. May have. May have long neck to reach tall trees. Ayan. What is the difference between this figure and this figure? So, dito, mahahaba na sila dito variety of giraffes na may magkakaibang haba ng leeg. Now, what is the difference between these two pictures? What theory int introduced by Jean Baptiste de Lamarck states that the individual organism made changes in themselves and passed those changes on to their offspring? Dito, pag, ito, pag ganitong klase yung LAS na sinasagot ng bata, ah, medyo mahirap to, no? Kasi zero idea, zero knowledge. Pero kung babasahin nila yung topic sa baba, makikita nila yung yung importance nito. So, grade 10 students na magsasagot ng ganitong klase ng last, 
basahin niyo po yung nasa baba, no? Kasi ito yung parang parang technique ng mga teacher na para matuto kayo. So, mag-iisip kayo kung paano niyo sasagutan 'yan, pag-iisipan niyo mabuti. And then yung yung kung babasahin niyo naman yung topic sa baba, mababasa niyo rin. Makikita niyo rin yung answer. Okay, now let's go to activity number 2, am I belong? Identify the word that does not belong to the group. Write your answer on your answer sheet. Ayan, theory of need, natural selection, John, Baptiste, De Lamarck, or Jean. Jean ito. Wala, wala yung pala akong mali. Sa last, Jean Baptiste De Lamarck. Jean Baptiste. Okay. Charles Darwin, number 2, Charles Darwin, Giraffe, Theory of Use. Okay. Number 3, Apes, Theory of Acquired Inheritance, and Theory of Disuse. So, dito isusulat nyo ng grade 10 kung ano yung hindi belong dito sa grupo na to. Halimbawa dito, ayan. Anong hindi dyan belong? Kaya ang tanong, ang title, am I belong? Number 3, just observe. Look around and observe how animals adapt to changes in their environment. Give an example and write your answer in your answer sheet. So, dito, sa activity number 3, wala to sa topic, syempre. Wala dun sa mga nakasulat na topic. So, ang gagawin mo rito, maglulok ka talaga yun. Magtitingin ka talaga at mag-observe ka sa mga hayop na nakikita mo sa paligid mo. And then, sasabihin mo, magbibigay ka ng example, at sasabihin mo kung paano sila nakaka-adapt or nakaka-survive sa kanilang environment. Halimbawa, manok. Ano bang ginagawa ng, ng native na manok para mabuhay siya sa kanyang environment? ba diba? Tama ba? Yung mga hindi inaalagaan na hayop, kaya ng, ng palaka, ng, ng mga isda, ano bang ginagawa nila? Yun, yung mag-observe kayo, tapos paano sila nabubuhay? Yun yung isusulat nyo dito sa, sa activity number 3. Direction, ah, activity 4A. Answer shortly the given question, write your answer in your answer sheet, enumerate ways on how to protect our natural resources and conserve our biodiversity. So, may bago tayong word na na kuha dito. So, enumerate the ways on how to protect. So, ibig sabihin, mag-elaborate mag ka o mag-enumerate ka kung paano mo protectahan ang iyong kalikasan, ang ating kalikasan. And conserve our biodiversity. Pag sinabi natin biodiversity, diversity of species. No? So, halimbawa, pumunta ka sa isang gubat na paraming, na paraming hayop kang nakikita, ibig sabihin, ang gubat na yon ay tatawagin nating biodiversity. Okay? So, meron pa ba tayo ditong biodiversity na lugar sa Pilipinas? Hindi mo pwedeng sabihin na zuha kasi maraming hayop. So, pag sinabi nating biodiversity, uh, ito yung mga hayop na malayang malayang nakakagalaw. So, dito nalalabas yung food chain. Nandyan yung food chain. May prey at predator. So, nandyan sila lahat. Pag marami kang hayop na nakikita, iba't ibang klase ng hayop, halaman, insekto, by diversity ang lugar na yon. Yon. So paano ba natin poprotektahan yon? Activity 4B, short answer lang din. Answer shortly the given short, the given questions, write your answer in your answer sheet based on activity 1A, 1B. What are the three theories by John Baptist de Lamarck? Jean. Jean to. Jean Baptist. Jean Baptist de Lamarck. Describe its each shortly. So, ano yung unang theory niya, pangalawang theory, pangatlong theory. What are the ways on how animals adapt to their environment? Ano-ano yung mga ways kung paano nakaka-adapt yung, yung mga hayop sa ating environment? Halimbawa, uh, halimbawa, may halimbawa yan eh. Ang ibon, paano ba sila nakaka-adapt sa kanilang environment? Paano sila nakakain? Ano yung ginagamit nila primarily to survive? Bigyan ko yung example, ha. So, ibo, mga ibon, ang ginagamit nila, syempre, yung mga wings nila, tsaka yung tuka nila. Next, underline the correct terms. Choose your answers from the words enclosed in the parentheses. So, pipili ka lang dito. Evolution is continuous, or the world is stable and unchanging. Which of the following statement does not describe evolution? So, ano ba di albang sagot? Is it continuous? Evolution is continuous, or the world is stable and changing. So, ano dyan yung sagot niya? So, basahin niya lang ito mabuti. Now, let's go to the topic. 
What are the theories of Jean Baptiste de Lamarck? Jean Baptiste de Lamarck was the first evolutionist to believe that the organism changed over time. Using fossil records as a guide, Lamarck was able to develop three theories. So, ito na yung lumabas na Tatlong theory. The first theory is the theory of need, which states that organism change in response to their environment. So, ang sabi niya dito, nagbabago ang itsura o nag, nagbabago ang organisms in response to their environment. So, tama naman siya, no? So, nagbabago. Para lang makasurvive, you need to change. So, this is the first theory. Their ability to survive help them develop characteristics necessary for them to adapt in a given environment. Kung natatandaan nyo yung milk natin, ano to, no? Source, ano? Kung natatandaan nyo yung milk natin dito, ang title niya is Occurrence of Evolution. So, saan ba nagmula yung idea ng evolution? So, dito yung sa kanya nagmula. Kay Jean Baptiste de Lamarck. So, ito yung una niyang sinabi. Their ability to survive helped them develop characteristics necessary for them to adapt in a given environment. So, yun yung una. The theory of need. The next theory is the theory of use and disuse, which, according to Lamarck, organs not in use will disappear while organs in use will develop. So, ang galing yung idea, no? So, yung mga organ na hindi mo ginagamit, uh, mawawala sa'yo, at yung lagi mo namang ginagamit or importante na na para makasurvive ka, is nandyan yun. Yun yung develop Halimbawa, ang mga isda, may mga hasang sila or gills, no? So, gamit na gamit yan kapag nasa ilalim sila ng, o oh, nasa dagat sila. Kasi yun yung ginagawa nilang pangkuha ng oxygen. So, yun yung nag-develop sa kanila, yung mga hasang, yung gills nila. Saan na ba ako? They kept stretch ito. Lamarck believed that giraffes before have short necks, but because of the need to survive and in order to reach tall trees for food, they kept stretching their neck until this become longer and able to reach taller trees. So, ito yung sabi ni Lamarck, theory of use and disuse. So, ito siya. So, ang mga giraffe, sabi niya, uh, dati ay maiksi ang leeg. So, dahil kailangan ng giraffe abuti ng mga daon sa matataas na puno, uh, dinevelop niya yung kanyang leeg at nag-stretch ng nag-stretch hanggang sa maabot nila yung mga dahon sa matataas na puno. So, ganun yung sabi ni Lamarck. These acquired characteristics were believed to be inherited by their ops, offsprings and propagated by the next generation of giraffes. Lamarck called it as the theory of acquired characteristics. So, yung mahabang leeg na yon namana na nung kanilang mga anak hanggang uh, sa mga sumusunod, sumu, mga sumunod na generations nila. So, ang tawag niya doon sa pagmamana na yon pag-acquire is the theory of acquired characteristics. Ayan. So, meron tayong tatlong theory. Theory of need, theory of use and disuse, and the theory of acquired characteristics. Now, the Darwinian theory. Theory need Charles Darwin. The more popular theory of evolution proposed by Charles Darwin based on natural selection is different from the theories of Lamarck. According to Darwin, giraffe species origin originally had varying neck lengths but natural selection favored the survival of giraffes with longer necks that could feed on taller trees that were available. Giraffes with short neck were eliminated due to lack of accessible food supply. So, iba, yung, iba naman yung paniniwala ni Charles Darwin, no? Based na kabase yun sa natural selection. So, sabi niya, yung mga species ng giraffe, hindi puro mahaba ang leeg. Meron ding maiksi ang leeg, may katantamang haba ang leeg, so, at merong mas mahaba ang leeg. So, sabi ni Charles Darwin, namatay yung mga giraffe na may maiksi ang leeg kasi hindi nila abot yung Uh, mga dahon sa taas sa matataas na puno hindi na nila abot so nagugutom sila at namamatay so nawala yung kanilang lahi ng maiksi ang ang, ang leeg so medyo kakaiba siya doon sa theory ni ni Jean Baptiste de Lamarck sa theory of use and disuse no? so medyo malaki yung pagkakaiba 50 years after Lamarck's theory of use and disuse, Charles Darwin suggested the theory of natural selection. After his voyage to the Galapagos Island in HMS Beagle, he was fascinated by the, 
by the diversity of organisms he found along the journey. So, ang Galapagos Island, kung isa-search nyo po sa Google o kaya sa YouTube, marami po talaga mga species no iba-iba. But, uh, it was, I think, being protected by their government, no? Para lang uh, magkaroon ng variety of species. Yung biodiversity ay maprotektahan. Iba't ibang klase ng isda, makikita natin doon. So, may point din si, si Charles Darwin sa kanyang theory, no? Yun po, yun yung pagkakaiba nilang dalawa. Now, let's go to this one. What effects of environmental changes have on adaptation and survival of species? Human beings are considered as stewards of God's creation. Some of the ways on how to protect our natural resources and conserve our biodiversity includes proper garbage disposal, energy conservation, reuse, recycle, and reduce consumption. Changes in environmental conditions can affect the survival of an individual, organism, or an entire species. Short-term environmental changes like droughts, floods, and fires do not give populations time to adapt to the change and force, and force them to move or become extinct. Fortunately, body structures of some of the animals change in size to get food. They also change their color and form to escape their prey while others produce toxin to protect themselves. So, so an ano ba yung ginagawa ng ating mga hayop kapag uh, if they wanted, kung ang kanilang tirahan ay nasisira, ayan. Ito na yan, no? What effects of environment ch environmental changes have on adaptation and survival? No? So, kapag sinira mo ang kanilang tirahan, malaki po ang magiging epekto niyan. Pwedeng mawala ang ang organism. Alam nyo ba na ang Philippine Eagle ay malapit na sa extinction? So, kapag hindi sila nabandayan ng mabuti, mawawalan tayo ng Philippine Eagle. So, pasalamat po tayo sa mga taong uh, may pakialam pa rin sa ating mga uh, ayop dito sa ating bansa. So, yun po, no? Diyan po nagtatapos ang ating uh, ang ating Last quarter 3 week, 5.2. So, meron pa po tayong dalawang week, dalawang LAS para sa susunod. Dalawa na lang siya. Matatapos na po ang ating quarter 3. So, hold on lang mga students. Matatapos na po tayo sa third quarter. Teachers, you can download my LAS. Pwede nyo siyang i-edit, palitan. O kung ano man, i-improve pa. Wala pong problema sa akin. Mas masaya po ako nakakatulong sa inyo. So, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Kung may questions po, paki, ano lang, paki, paki comment lang po sa baba. No? See you in my next video. God bless po. God bless. Uh, mabuhay po tayong lahat. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Thank you.